If you could be a superhero for a day, what kind of superhero would you be? In real life, we would probably answer that question in a million different ways. However, in Dreamlight Valley, we have very limited options when it comes to clothing in order to channel superhero. That's why for last week's challenge, Superhero for a Day, I'm really interested to see what my fellow Dreamlight Valley players came up with in terms of channeling a superhero in the clothing items that they have. So I'm gonna do some voting for that challenge. And I really like to try to help other Dreamlight Valley players with Dream Snaps. So as I go through some voting, I'll try to say what I like, what I love, and maybe some things that I think could possibly be better. So let's go ahead and do some voting. Just to recap one more time, last week's challenge was Superhero for a Day, and it was an outfit challenge. The description said, Bam, pal, bang. Show off your super style in this week's Dream Snaps outfit challenge. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the voting. I may skip around in my voting a little bit just to maybe show off some of the better ones that I find, but we'll go start going through and we'll see how it goes. All right, so, uh, well, these are two cute ones, actually. Uh, starting off here on the left, I, I mean, it has darker vibes, but they I love that they have the knight costume, so it could be like a dark knight uh, that is the superhero. I think that's really cool. They use the uh, dark castle realm, and I think that's a really cool shot. It's a little dark on the character, but the lighting is a little dark, but I think it's uh, pretty good overall. On the right, uh, they went inside uh, Mike and Sully's house and they dressed as Roz, which, I mean, Roz is quite a superhero because she did save the day in Monsters, Inc. at the very end. Uh, she kind of came to Mike and Sully's rescue. So, um, or was it maybe a Monsters University? I don't remember which one. <laughs> Roz kind of came to the rescue and maybe it was both of them. Uh, but I think that um, this is a really cute idea. We got two realm photos. I think they're both really cute. Um, I think I'm gonna go for the one on the right. I just think the Roz idea is really, really clever. And I love that Mike and Sully are in the shot. I think that's really cool. So I'm gonna go with that one. Okay, so we have two cute ones here. Uh, let's see, we, both of these have really good lighting, it seems like. The one on the left, I love that they're wearing the incredible suit. I absolutely love this incredible suit. If you got a chance to get it from the premium shop, I'm very happy for you because I think it's really fun to wear around the valley. Um, I do think that for this challenge, it's going to be low tag, so it may be harder for some people to perform well with this outfit, but I do like that they chose this outfit, and I like that they're standing in the middle of their plaza. It kind of looks like they're in the city, uh, fight, maybe fighting crime. <laughs> So I do really uh, like this outfit and I like the lighting. On the right, um, it looks like they're almost going for almost like a Lara Croft Tomb Raider uh, kind of costume. Uh, maybe that's their superhero costume, which I think is really cute. Uh, maybe this is their superhero home. Uh, I don't, you know, fully get superhero all the way. So I think I'm going to have to go for the one on the left, but I do think that the lighting is really pretty in both of these and they're both very colorful. Oh, wow. These are really, really pretty. So I love this one on the left here. Look at the way the trees look and the way they framed up their character with the trees and the flowers. I love the bird up front. They even have the light posts uh flanking their character too and their character looks amazing amazing in the incredibles costume again uh really looks like mrs incredible it's really really beautiful great great shot you know on the right i love this too they're it looks like they're dressed up as catwoman i love that they have mother gothel uh like scared here she's has her hands on her face like she's terrified um and it's it's like they're in an alleyway and they trapped Mother Gothel in the alleyway. I absolutely love that. I think that's so creative. Um, I love the perspective. Oh man, this is so hard. And I just love the light from the buildings, even though it's a nighttime shot, there's plenty of light on the one on the right. Um, wow, this is really, really hard. Uh, so I think both of these are beautiful. The one on the left is such a beautiful, beautiful shot. However, for superhero, I think I have to give it to the one on the right because I just love what they did with Mother Gothel and I, you know, feel like I'm watching a fight scene uh, be 
between a hero and a villain. So I got to give it to the one on the right. Even though I absolutely love the one on the left, I wish these two were not paired together. I have to go with the one on the right. And on our next ones, ooh, so this is interesting. So the one on the left, they went for sort of a darker vibe, kind of like the castle one, dark castle one that we saw earlier. But their character looks really, really beautiful. They took this in Eternity Isle at the Well at the Docks. And I think uh, this looks really great with the lanterns hanging down from the trees. Um, I think that looks really, really beautiful. I think the black and white looks really cool. I love that they're posed with the raven. And I think with this challenge, um, you know, I, I think, like I said, it's very hard because we had limited options on costumes. So I think that people had to kind of invent their own superhero with the outfit choices that we had so i'm very um open to seeing people's interpretations of what they think a superhero is and even though it's darker vibes i definitely think this could be a superhero um and then on the right um we have pirate which you know pirate isn't fully superhero to me but um you know uh, a pirate you know if you get a good pirate could be maybe a superhero so i like that they took it in front of eric's ship um, the blue sky and blue water looks really beautiful. I think your outfit's really cute. Um, oh, they're both simple, very simple shots, um, you know, uh, but they both look very pretty. I think I'm going to go for the one on the left. I like the creativity of the lighting in front of the lanterns and the black and white filter, I think actually looks cool, kind of looks like an old comic book. So I'm going to go for the one on the left. Oh, wow. All right. So, well, the one on the left, uh, even though Merlin looks cute, definitely not superhero. Uh, we just have a selfie with Merlin. Uh, so, um, uh, maybe they were just, uh, submitting for 300 moonstones. Maybe it was like an accidental submission. Who knows? But, um, the one on the right here, wow, I have to look at this closer. And I'm sorry, I should have been zooming in on some of these, but this one on the right, um, is so beautiful. I mean, I, I don't know if this is supposed to be She-Hulk. I'm not familiar with super familiar with She-Hulk, but I did see some people saying they were doing She-Hulk, um, or maybe they were going for just a kind of plant-inspired, uh, superhero. Either way, this is gorgeous. Um, I mean, they put this old, the gas station there, and then they have all this foliage that looks so beautiful. They have all this vegetation, which really gives me vibes that, you know, they are, <laughs> I don't know, maybe they're fighting um, to save the planet, um, save plant life. I just think this looks gorgeous. The lighting is beautiful. Their character looks beautiful. Um, you know, and I don't think it's like a very superhero-ish outfit. But the thing is, is again, we have limited options. So, and I love that they made their character green. And to me, that helped give the superhero vibe. Um, and I just... I just love all the choices that they made. So many different types of trees, and but they blended them very well. Um, just some beautiful lights in the background and the flowers up front look really beautiful. Really, really, really detailed photo. This person really went all out. They're definitely gonna get my vote, um, you know, compared to a selfie that doesn't fit the challenge. I think it's a very easy choice, but I'm really, really super impressed with this photo. Um, so I love that. I'm gonna go ahead and vote for this one. On the left, we have a really cute outfit here. Uh, I think the dress with the horns looks cute. They added a scarf as well. Uh, I think the blue headband doesn't match quite as well, but it's still really cute. Um, I love the raven. I like that they posed in front of the castle. The only thing I'll say is there's a lot of empty space on the left, and I feel like it would have been better had they centered themselves in front of the castle or uh, you know, maybe filled out the left side. I think it would have made the photo feel a little more full. It's pretty close up and there's not a lot going on the left. Now on the right, let's take a look at closer look at this one. This one is really, really stunningly beautiful. Um, yes, I said stunningly beautiful. Uh, two descriptors there because I think this is just really, really well. Uh, I love the outfit that they have on. I think this is super cute. I love the green, especially with the greens in the Monsters, Inc uh item here the little uh car ride and uh with the trees in the back they even have a green butterfly on the left and in the back they have another little green butterfly so i love the outfit 
I love that they um, <laughs> wore these, uh, whatever you want to call them, antennas. Uh, I, I think they look really cute. That's really unique for a superhero. And I love the goggles that they have on. I think those are really cute. Love the hair. Uh, this is really, really cute. Um, and this is an example where I don't think you have to be a specific superhero. I think as long as you have a super superhero-ish outfit and kind of just give the feeling of a superhero, I think it works for this challenge. So sometimes when you do like a specific reference to a, something like a superhero, a specific superhero, especially if it's not Disney related, it could be a risk because some people may not get it. So I think going with a, you know, more uh, kind of made up superhero could really, really work well for a lot of people in this challenge. Uh, but I love that it looks like they're in a city. I think that's really cool. The, the Monsters Inc. ride kind of gives me comic book vibes. And I think this is really vibrant. Uh, I love the time of day that they chose, which is in the evening when the sun is setting and uh, they have the sun on them, but they have the dark sky in the back. I love the lighting from Pizza Planet. I think this looks really, really cool. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to go for the one on the right. Um, points for creativity in the outfit on the, way, the one on the left, but definitely going for the one on the right. I think this one is absolutely fabulous. All right, so here we have Buzz versus Woody, though, the one on the right technically does have Buzz in it, but uh, they're just as Woody. So I'm going to say it's Buzz versus Woody. So what are the chances of that going up against each other? Um, I wonder if in voting somehow they pair similar photos. I don't know, but I, it's probably just coincidence. But OK, so let's start with the one on the right. The one on the right, I think that their character looks so cute. I actually love the makeup that they did. I think the makeup looks really cute. I love their expression. I love that they got Buzz in the photo. Uh, they took this in, is this in Woody's house or did they, I can't remember if the claw machine's in Woody's house, but uh, either way, they either took it in Woody's house or they made a little setup. Um, I, again, I would love to see the full outfit, um, you know, just because it is an outfit challenge. I just, I like to see the people show off their outfit. I, I just like that. But um, it lo it's really vibrant. It's really beautiful shot. I really love the shot. Uh, the one on the left here, let's take a closer look. Now, this isn't a full-size photo, but they really filled out the photo really nicely. They're dressed as Buzz. I love that they have the green aliens in the claw machine. I think that's really cute. Uh, they have uh, the Ferris wheel in the background, so they kind of gave like almost like Buzz at the theme park kind of vibe. Uh, I think that's really cute. It's really vibrant, the photo. They filled out the photo really well, even though they used a smaller shot. I always like to, I prefer to see fuller shots, uh, you know, full landscape shots, uh, just because I think that they're a little more impactful in voting most of the time, at least compared to a lot of the one, other ones I see. So, but I think they did a really good job filling out this photo on the left. So I'm going to go for the one left just because I think they did a great job showing off their outfit. They picked a cute outfit. Buzz is definitely a superhero to me. Uh, so I'm going to go for the one on the left. All right, so we got two more good ones here. Uh, I am skipping around a little bit just because some of the ones I saw were a little um, basic. So I wanted to try to find some that were a little more interesting. So I really love this um, on the left here. Uh, another one that gives me like uh, trying to save like the planet vegetation vibes. Um, I think it looks really, really pretty. I think their outfit looks really cool. Uh, the red kind of pops against the greens and uh, I wonder what this would have looked like with a maybe the white and green outfit that could have looked really cool too but they pop out in the red outfit so I love the green hair that they did the vines look really cool I love all the plants and the bird looks amazing they got the bird mid-air I love their pose as well and I think it's really beautifully framed against the waterfall it's very very vibrant photo um, let's just take a closer, closer look here too real quick so I can blow this up for you. These are two beautiful shots. Uh, but the blues of the water look really, really pretty. I, I just think it's really vibrant and bright. I think it's a really cool shot. So the outfit, I would say maybe, you know, doesn't fully make sense together. Um, maybe it would have been better with a black mask and maybe 
something like a backpack other than the wings, but they definitely went for something original. Uh, the one on the right here, let's see. Now this is really cool. This looks like a comic book. This is another one that looks like a comic book to me, and I think that's really cool. Um, I think the outfit's really cute. <laughs> I don't know what kind of superhero they were going for, but I think the outfit actually is really cute. I love the white and the goggles are cool. The, the trash can um, hat is kind of a choice. Maybe they're going for like an environmental <laughs> superhero um, since they have, uh, you know, the rock formations in the back. I'm not sure, but um, it's a, definitely a cute outfit. I think the lighting's really pretty. Uh, there's kind of this smog too that's going on uh, that looks really cool but I think for this one it's really tough choice because I like both of these I think that the one on the left just gives me more of a direction of what superhero they were trying to go for so I think I'll go for the one on the left even though I love the one on the right so and I think that will be our last one I hope you enjoyed taking a look at these submissions with me. I think we got to see some fun superhero outfits. Let me know in the comments if you could be a superhero for a day, what superhero would you be? I'm curious to hear your answer. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you could give the video a like. And if you're not subscribed, I would love if you would consider subscribing. I hope you have a happy and wonderful day.